Okay, so on this sheet of force problems with constant velocity or acceleration, let's take a look at number 10. A box weighing 500 newtons, so that's your FG, is being pulled along a level floor at a constant speed. Constant speed means AX is zero. By a force of 50 newtons, that acts upward at an angle of 30 degrees with the floor. So here's my force, F, and it's 50 newtons, and the angle in here is 30 degrees. So this will be my Fx, and this will be my Fy. There will also be friction, I'm pretty sure, acting backward. Okay, what is the force that actually pulls the box along the floor? What they're asking for in part A, then, is just Fx, because it's the one that's pulling the box across the floor. And Fx is the adjacent side of this right angle triangle, so it should be cosine. So cos theta will equal Fx over F, so Fx is just equal to F cos theta. Okay, so Fx is equal to 50 newtons times the cos of 30. Cos of 30 is 0.866, so this should be 43.3. There's probably another digit, but I don't know it in my head. Why is it multiplying by 50? 3, 0. Oh, that's why I don't know it in my head. 0, 1 newtons. Okay, that's part A. Part B says, what is the force of friction that opposes this motion? So the force of friction that opposes this motion we can get if we do some of the forces in the x direction. It says constant speed, so max is zero, so it'll be fx minus friction equals zero. So the force of friction is just going to be equal to the fx component, in other words, 43.301 newtons. Okay, that is part B. Part C says, what is the normal force? Well, to find the normal force, we need to do some of the forces in the y direction. It's not moving in the y, so MAY is zero. So we have FN, we have FY, we have FG equals zero. If we call up positive, then Fn and Fy will both be positive, Fg will be negative. Fn then is equal to Fg minus Fy. So we need to go up here and find our Fy. Fy is the opposite side, so it should be sine theta is equal to Fy over F. So Fy is equal to F sine theta. So Fy is equal to 50 newtons times the sine of 30, and the sine of 30 is just 0.5, so Fy is equal to 25 newtons. Okay, and Fg is just Mg, so we have Mg minus Fy. So Fn is equal to, oh, they told us Fg already, 500 newtons, I don't even have to do Mg, minus 25 newtons. So Fn is equal to 475 newtons, and that is part C. Part D wants the coefficient of friction, so we use our fun equation. So friction is equal to mu Fn, so mu is equal to friction divided by Fn. So friction is the 43.301 newtons we found, and Fn is 475 newtons. So friction is going to be a nice tiny 0 .9, 0 0.09116. Okay, keep more decimals than I gave you on the sheet there. All right, that's number 10. Number 11, a trunk weighing six, uh, 3,000 kilograms no, 3,000 newtons, excuse me, is pushed across a level floor of the constant speed by a force of 500, oh, constant speed, so again, AX is zero. Um, with a force of 500 newtons acting downward at an angle. So you're pushing at this time, so our F is here, it's 500 newtons, 
and it's acting downward at an angle of 20 degrees. This will be Fx, this will be Fy, friction will be acting this way. Part A says, what is the force of friction acting on the bottom of the trunk? So first we should find our Fx and our Fy. Our Fx, again, is the adjacent side, so it's going to be cosine, and it is equal to Fx over F, so Fx will be equal to F cos theta. So Fx will be equal to, um, what was it, 500 newtons times the cos of 20. Pains me to tell you this, but I don't know the cos of 20 off the top of my head. Uh, but when you do it, you should get 469.846 newtons for Fx. And now we do Fy, which should be sine. So sine theta equals Fy over F. So Fy should equal F sine theta. So Fy should equal 500 newtons sine of 20. So Fy equals... one hundred and seventy one point zero one newtons okay so now we can use these in our sum of the forces so back to the question what is the force of friction so we would need to do some of the forces in the x direction to find that so in the x direction there's fx going one way and friction acting the other so fx minus friction and ax is zero so max is zero so Fx is just going to equal friction, which is going to equal 469.846 newtons. Part A is complete. Part B says, what is the normal force? So now we need to do the y direction. Again, this object is not moving in the y direction, so MAY is zero. We have Fn acting up. We have Fy acting down this time, so it'll be negative. And Fg is also acting down, so it's negative. So now Fn is going to be equal to Fg plus Fy. Oops, that's a Y. So Fn is equal to Fg, they told us, was 3,000 newtons. And Fy we found to be 171.01 newtons. So our normal force should be 3,171.01 newtons, part B. Part C now wants the coefficient. So we go back to our fun equation and divide both sides by Fn. So mu is equal to friction divided by Fn. Friction was 469.846 newtons and Fn was 3,171.01 newtons. And when you do this, you should get something close to 0.15. Uh, just a sec. 469.846. 0. Point, glad I tell you to keep four um, decimals for your sig figs, and then I didn't. Four, one, four, eight, one, let's say seven. It's really six, nine, but we'll go seven. Okay, that is number 11. All right, number 12. We're going to run out of time on number 12, so I might do a whole new video for 12 and 13, okay?